What's up everyone and welcome to day three of our Maldives fly fishing trip. Today we're going to a brand new reef again and here apparently there are a lot of trigger fish and once again giant trevally and bluefin. Today we're going to do something slightly different. Me and Chris over here behind the camera will play Ching Chong Cha in the beginning of the day and then once each one of us has a shot we'll just keep rotating until we get that fish. See you on the water. Oh yeah, it's getting ready for the day. We're actually quite, if not quite, a little bit late. That's all right, just making sure everything is fine. And then we're gonna set off. We need to hunt some fish. Yes. Just hope these shoes last. <laughs> this is falling apart. Yeah. Why are you only wearing one pair of socks? It's my lucky socks. No, it's your lucky socks. Yeah. Maybe so they're apparently lucky socks. I should, it's, it's I should lucky. change them. <laughs> yeah, I think you should change these socks. Maybe wear Chris's. He's the GT whisperer. I did turn my neoprene <laughs> socks inside out. So maybe oh, that's oh shit. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you're, gonna, you're just waiting to peek at the right time. You yeah. don't, you're not casting a small fish. Exactly, I don't want to peek on baby fish. You, know? yeah. you don't want to peek on a 50 centimeter. You want to peek on a 1.5 meter. That's it. <laughs> So, as mentioned earlier, what we're going to do is we're each going to have a shot, but um, we're first going to do rock, paper, scissors to determine who's going to go first, and after that, we'll exchange the rod the whole time. So, the best out of three. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay. Ching chong cha. Oh, oh yes. Okay. Yeah. Ching chong cha. Ching chong cha. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. I'm gonna take the first shot. <laughs> He's gonna miss it anyway, so don't worry. <laughs> Do the channel quickly. Uh, how fishy does this place look? It's very fishy. So there's a, like a channel that's going out of this reef. Massive channel. It's very, very deep. So we're first gonna work that. And as the tide is dropping, what is that? You hear that? Oh, it's kind of like something getting chased. Yeah. See, there, 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 there. Oh, There's 
a lot of bait fish around in this area it's about knee depth and we're seeing sharks and they're busting at these bait fish every now and then i'm just bombing out a cast to see if there aren't any bluefin or giant trevally swimming in between these sharks we're seeing a lot of movement on the water but nothing stuck yet so <laughs> off the reef just now by the surf but we decided to come in throw a fly in this channel here and first cast this little grouper I don't know what kind he is but he looks like a, a peacock, grouper. peacock grouper beautiful little guy yeah. got these blue purple spots and fins sweet devoured a fly about the size of him yeah surely yeah goodbye little grouper going to a big boy Okay, your turn. What's going on there, Pia? I'm getting stuck to all the coral. I'm falling over, I'm stepping over the line. Not getting a line out. changing flies so this is a what I call a tailor's delight so it's just a little bit of zonka with two rubber legs a little bit of a tan underbody the reason for that is I had our flexo crab on but it's now so shallow and the fish are coming in with these tiny waves but it's so shallow that our flexo crab is so heavy that it gets stuck to the bottom the whole time so this fly I can cast out only as bead chain eyes so I can cast it out and strip it quite quick see if we can catch um, like small reef species until the tide starts pushing for the bigger jeets So I throw that through that little tailor's delight oh! I threw that little tailor's delight and it went tight on a decent sized bluefin tight and then not tight yeah a little rainbow wrasse the yeah. same little fly does the trick not as big as a GT but just as cool yeah yeah let's get him in let's get him in there was this nice it looked like a yellow margin trigger they're notoriously hard to catch and um, the first one we actually saw that is semi approachable and I cast it right at its butt which isn't the so ideal you, position. you told me one time that a fish eats with his mouth on his butt yes that is true and that's why it's spooked I decided to switch to the flats and Pierre is on to something small but pretty. What you got there Pierre? I'm not sure what this is. It's some sort of grouper but I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with all the species of grouper. But um, now the problem is I don't have pliers with me and it's inside there. How cool is that? Fish. How 
how we still have this fish is incredible. How's that GT knee deep water on the flats? So we obviously didn't get this, it just happened too quick. I was fishing for a couple of bluefin with the tiny spawning shrimp and the tide's coming in and suddenly this huge fish just appeared behind the spawning shrimp. We recast at it, sight fished and just came in hot and it ate and initially Chris wasn't shooting at it and he's like, oh, it's just a bluefin and as it ate he said, oh, that is something big. <laughs> and then on the 10 weight we're only fishing 25 pound and um, Jeez, running around bombing Run, and it wrapped us everywhere and I thought we lost it. I like threw my rod down at a stage and when we got to the end of the line here he is all chunked up and this is what we got on a 10 weight. A solid fish. How's that? 10 weight on the flats. On like a size 4 spawning shrimp. How cool is this? Hey? That is a beauty. And that's the end of day three of our Maldives fishing trip. It was a tougher morning. We targeted a couple of triggerfish on the flat. We were unsuccessful, unfortunately, but the day ended off really well with a great GT fishing session where Chris and myself both landed two. I caught one of mine on the Snowbeak Prestige GXS saltwater rod. It's a 10 weight rod, a 25 pound, and a small spawning shrimp. I was really lucky to land that fish. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so that you can catch up with the day four of our Maldives fishing trip. Until next time, cheers.